guys, welcome back to Marissa's Back Club. Today's topic is improper fractions and mixed numbers. In this video, I will be talking about what exactly improper fractions and mixed numbers are, and also how you can convert an improper fraction to a mixed number and a mixed number into an improper fraction. So let's get started. Now, an improper fraction is just a fraction that has a numerator that is greater than the denominator. So an example of an improper fraction could be 7 over 4, because 7 is a numerator which is greater than the denominator of okay so that's an improper fraction now improper just means not proper okay now reason be being it's not it's not proper because remember fractions are part of a whole right so a proper fraction could be three-fourths because it's three parts out of a total of four parts but in an improper fraction you have a total of four parts but you have seven out of four parts but that's sort of impossible right because if you only have four parts, how can you have seven parts out of that four parts? So that's what's called an improper fraction, okay? Because it's not proper. So that's that for an improper fraction. Now, what about a mixed number? A mixed number is just a combination of a whole number and a, a proper fraction, okay? So let's say two and one fifths. This is an example of a mixed number because two is the whole number and your fraction is one-fifths. Now, why can't you have an improper fraction in a mixed number? So what I mean by that is maybe you have two and eight over two, okay? Now, this is an improper fraction in the part of the fraction, right? Because this is going to be wrong because you can never have an improper fraction inside a mixed number. That's why you can only have a, mixed, a whole number and a proper fraction to make a mixed number, okay? So this is an example of a mixed number. Now that you have a pretty good idea of what improper fractions and mixed numbers are, let's go on and convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. So I'm going to be taking the example of an improper fraction such as 13 over 2. So if you want to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number, just simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So 13 divided by 2. How many times did 13, I'm sorry, 2 go into 13? Let's find out. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14. Well, wait, 14 is greater than the third number 13, so we're going to have to go with our previous product of 12. So 2 times 6 is 12. The difference of 13 and 12 is 1. And so you get your remainder of 1 and your quotient of 6. Now, you need to put this in a mixed number, and you do that by taking your quotient, which is the number 6, and that is going to become your whole number, so 6. And now your remainder, which is the number 1 in this case, is going to be your numerator. And your denominator is going to be your divisor. And a divisor is just a number you divide by, which is outside the box. So in this case, it's number 2. So now you have your mixed number. So that means 13 over 2, which is an improper fraction, converted into a mixed number equals 6 and 1 over 2, or 6 and a half. Okay? So that's how you convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. Now, what if you had a mixed number and you had to convert that into an improper fraction? So let's take the mixed number. So let's cut this out. And let's say we have the mixed number of... 8 and 3 6 okay now in order to convert this into an improper fraction all you have to do is multiply your whole number which is in this case 8 by the denominator which is 6 so I'm gonna write the formula down so that means whole number so whole number times denominator I'm not gonna write the entire word but to you know, okay so that's for denominator plus the numerator okay so Whole number times the denominator, so 8 times 6 plus the numerator of 3. So 8 times 6, we all know, is 48, plus the 3 is going to equal 51. And now that answer is going to become our numerator for our improper fraction. So the numerator is going to be 51. And remember that your denominator is always, always, always going to remain the same, so 6. That means the mixed number 8 and 3, 6 converted into an improper fraction equals 51 over 6. Now, I hope you guys understood this video and enjoyed it also. Now, if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or for the coming up topics, please feel free to visit our website at bronzesmyclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.